my name is Alexio, and today we're going to be talking about Rina Sawayama. Rina Sawayama is a British up-and-coming pop star with origins in Japan, and she has been around since 2013, but she didn't start attracting mainstream attention until she released her first studio album titled Sawayama in 2020. Until 2020, Rina was a relatively small, independent artist that was making a name for herself online with the release of her self-titled EP called Rina, which released in October of 2017. After a few more years of skating by independently, Rina signed to Dirty Hit Records and released her debut album, Sawayama. Sawayama, the album, was released at the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, and a lot of people, myself included, started to take notice of Rina's music. We latched onto this album because it was fresh, it was new, and most importantly, it was exceptionally good. The album was a mix of early 2000s and late 90s inspired pop, but it also had tracks that had a heavy rock influence. The album was nostalgic, but also very modern at the same time, and the variety of genres and sounds Rina played with made the album exciting to listen to. Lyrically, Sawayama delved into many topics, such as breaking generational curses, overconsumption, capitalism, and dismantling racial stereotypes. It was very progressive and forward-thinking, and that really worked in Rina's favor, especially because during 2020, racial and political awareness was at an all-time high. With the release of this album and the promotional period that followed, Rina went from being unknown to sort of being a main pop girl in the eyes of the chronically online community. Her musicality combined with her bubbly personality and progressive brand catapulted her into the lives and hearts of thousands of casual listeners and new fans. And everyone was eager to see what she would do next with her newfound audience and visibility. Two years later, Rena released her sophomore album Hold the Girl in September of 2022, with This Hell being the lead single. Hold the Girl was a noticeable shift in sound from Sawayama. There was more of a country vibe within the album. It was still the arena that we knew, but it was different and more evolved. Hold the Girl was more self-reflective and dealt with unpacking familial trauma and wounds from the past. It was another solid release from Rena, but after Hold the Girl, it was crickets. Apart from her starring in John Wick 4 last year, releasing a few collaborations and a bonus version of Hold the Girl, it's been radio silence from Rena and her camp. However, there was a bit of controversy earlier this year when Rena took photos with Menhejin, the controversial ex-CEO of Adore and the woman behind New Jeans. And according to some fans, she allegedly blocked them for bringing up Menhejin's problematic behavior, and the controversies don't stop there. She also got a bit of flack for collaborating with Paris Hilton in June of this year. Many people found this move to be contradictory, considering that she had went viral a year prior for condemning Maddie Healy for being racially insensitive, just for her to end up collaborating with Paris, who has also made racially insensitive remarks and is allegedly homophobic. So Rena is in a weird spot right now because not only has she not released any new projects, her character and her morals are being called into question by her core fan base. It's uncertain what she will do next. Will she address the issues her fans have brought up in time for her next album cycle? Or will she ignore these discussions entirely and move on? Only time will tell. But that about sums up my thoughts on Rina Sawayama and her career. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye!